What's going on guys, Doomwake here, and welcome back to another Modern Horizons 3 video. Before we continue, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Now, what we are going to be doing today is working on a new combo deck in the modern format, and this is one that the initial idea that I found came from a 5-0 league as most good things do, and one that I've been spending a little bit of time with doing some tuning and some tweaking, and I've liked this deck a lot. So let's first and foremost talk about what the combo is. So the combo here is Basking Broodscale, which is a Modern Horizons 3 card. It's two mana for a 2-2, two -two, and you can adapt to put a counter on it for two mana. And then more importantly, whenever one or more plus and plus one counters are put on it, you may make a spawn token, sacrifices for mana. The other piece of the combo is Blade of the Blood Chief, which is a one man equipment, equipped for one. Whenever a creature dies, put a counter on equipped creature. If it's a vampire, we don't care about that. So basically, you have Blade on Bird Scale. If you either have a spawn token or have leftover mana to activate the Bird Scale to put a counter on it, the counter will trigger the Bird Scale to make a spawn. The spawn gets sacrificed for mana, that triggers the Blade to put a counter on the Bird Scale, that triggers the Bird Scale to make a spawn. Sacrifice the spawn, counter on the bird scale, mega spawn. You see where this is going. So what the combo does is generate infinite colorless mana and an infinitely large brood scale. So you can win the game one of two ways. You can either attack your opponent, assuming that you have a bird scale that you played a turn previously, or perhaps you maybe have a way to give it haste. The other way to kill your opponent is cast either Kozilex Command which, you know, again, if you have infinite colorless mana, that means you can scry your entire library, so basically just Demonic Tutor, and then eventually find a copy of Clearing Fleshraker, which is a 2-2, and whenever a colorless creature enters the battlefield, you deal your opponent a damage. So remember, in the combo, you're not only generating infinite mana, but you're generating an infinite number of spawn tokens that enter the battlefield, trigger the Fleshraker, deal your opponent infinite damage. So that is kind of the combo. Now, you might notice an interesting part about this deck. There, you said, Doom Lake, there's only one copy of your combo piece. What, what's going on there? As I knock my water bottle over. Well, we have four copies of Urza Saga to help find the Blade of the Blood Chief. And that was kind of the concept behind this version where you can shave on combo pieces, but Urza Saga is more consistency on finding that blade. You can also Sewing Myco Spawn to help find your Urza Saga. And what I like about this deck and this maybe this version is you have a reasonable backup plan. So if you even if you're not comboing, you still have a bunch of two mana lands, Ugin's Labyrinth and Eldrazi Temple, to help facilitate some of the more powerful, aggressive Eldrazi's, namely Eldrazi Linebreaker, which just hits people like an absolute truck. This is, I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is a three mana reality smasher, which you know, three mana for a Reality Smasher, kind of crazy. And this even scales when you get later into the game. And it also works phenomenally with Kozilek's Command. If you have some extra mana left over, Kozilek's Command for a bunch, make a bunch of spawn tokens. The Line Breaker Trigger will count all of the spawn tokens that you just made. The rest of the deck, we have some Thought Knots here to help kind of facilitate and fill out that aggressive plan B with the Line Breakers. World Breaker, which is a card that's great going long because in longer games against Control, you cast this a couple of times, maybe they counter it. You can also rebuy it from the graveyard. Devourer of Destiny, not only a good expensive top end threat, but also a way to help fix your early draws. Uh, this is one of the most powerful cards in the Eldrazi decks because you can reveal it from your opening hand, take a peek at the top four, put you, put the card that you like on top, and then later on you can pitch this to Ugin's Labyrinth to help generate some more mana that way. There's only one copy of All is Dust, I have the other copies in the sideboard, and then as far as the Saga package is concerned, you're going to be getting Blade most of the time. And I did add one Springleaf Drum just because the colored mana requirements are a little sketchy sometimes like this is sometimes you need double green for bird scale to be able to play and activate in the same turn and the mana can be a little sketchy at times so i wanted to have urza saga be able to fetch a colored source of mana speaking of mana again we have the aforementioned temples labyrinths and sagas and then past that, we have three Prismatic Vista to go with one of each basic, including a basic Wastes, which is good against Blood Moon, because you need Wastes to cast Flushraker, Thought Not Seer, and Kick Myco Spawn. 
And then we have five assorted dual lands. I'm choosing to favor for Carpoozin Forest slightly just because I think that in the in the draws where you have Line Breaker, you don't want to give them a ton of life. So just something to keep in mind there. And then just going over the sideboard very quickly, Vexing Bobble here for Mono Black and Cascade. Mono Black because it stops them from casting Soul Spike for free. Relic of Progenitus, good against those graveyard decks. Dismember, mostly here for Nadu, just to be able to, because, you know, you need something to kill that little bird. Stonebrain for the combo decks, and then All is Dust for Energy and other various swarm decks. So that's the deck. Again, I think you guys are really going to like this one, so I will not make you wait any longer. Let's get into some games, and I will see you back here in just a little bit for round number one. Doomunka. Chad, I think I'm in danger. I think I might be in danger. It's okay, they'll brick. That's a good sign. I'm just saying, that's a good sign. Dude, I want them to brick so bad. Hold. Chad, hold. Hold. Everybody hold. You see, folks, the problem with Neobrain is that it's just a little too good, and it's it's just a little too consistent, you know? Satisfying win. I mean, I'm I'm pretty satisfied. I don't know about you. All right, what are we doing against uh, whatever the hell's going on there? Uh, Vexing Bobble and Stonebrain both seem very good, right? We're on the draw, so we can do this. Mycospawn seems kind of slowge. All his dust is unplayable. Cut, like two of these maybe maybe the drum try that i guess keep the combo keep the line breakers keep the tks's i know that the seven like world breaker is bad against them but i think we need the seven density for labyrinth no bobble what do you mean i, I did board in the bobble the bobbles are in now i mean i'm on the draw so <laughs> it's not gonna nothing's gonna matter but you know yeah i boarded the bobbles okay uh, on the draw. So this has Labyrinth, but no colored mana. It's still a turn... Eh, it's like turn three Thought Knots here. Let's keep it. If we draw colored mana, it's pretty good. Lead on Saga. Yeah, this hand would have been pretty good if I had kept the drum, huh? Well, no, because we still would have had to Saga for the, the blade, you know? So, like, with this hand particularly, I wanted to get the blade anyways. You'd mull for Bobble. I mean, we can just Kozlex Command on turn one, right? Just to try and cycle. It's kind of bad, though. I'll lead on Saga. <laughs> Heard you were talking shit. Yeah, nice deck, Ari. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, if we draw a green source, it's a turn three kill, right? No, I guess we need two green sources. Unless I draw a green source this turn. And then turn three, I go... Uh, turn two, Brood Scale. Turn three, Float, Get Blade, Equip... Activate infinite mana, find flesh raker, kill them. So this this could be a turn three kill, but maybe that's just not good enough. <laughs> I mean, they'll just brick again. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Every, everything is fine. <laughs> let them play it out. I I let them play it out the first game. Surely they can't brick twice in a row, right? Bro, if they brick twice in a row, you need to delete your Twitter, Ari. They didn't pack this time, though. Yeah, that's true. They didn't pack. That is a good point. What a great deck. What a phenomenal deck that my opponent's chosen to play. Green source. Green source. That sure was punishment for not playing the other card last turn, I guess. I mean, you can make Saga tokens. Is that good enough? Yeah, I've heard the, uh, the Glee Brood Scale deck in Popper is good. I haven't played it myself yet, though. I kind of want to try to play some more Popper. Hmm. So I guess we should probably scry one. Uh, spawn scry. Pretty sure that's more important than doing anything else. I don't want that. I think if we draw a green source, they're dead. I mean, depending on what sort of... Depending on what kind of hate pieces they have in hand. Do I have enough mana 
to... No, I was going to say, do I have enough the Thought Knot Seer and Bird Scale? I don't think I do, right? One, two, three, four, five. Bird Scale first. Equip. Oh, no, well, I can I can Bird Scale into Thought Knot Seer, but yeah, we have to Bird Scale first. So if they have, like, Besage or Force of Vigor... I mean, I guess if they had besage you, it wouldn't matter anyways, right? Yeah, but they're probably just going to besage you, me. Like, we wouldn't be able to thought nuts here besage you. I mean, seems like they have nothing. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to, I'm going to do the loop again. I'll do it again. I guess we can check now, right? Why don't they draw? They could draw they could draw something, right? I'm confused. Well, I guess they're dead. What could they draw into? They could draw into Besager or Forest, right? Oh wait, no, I don't have lethal. I don't have the command. Right. I, I thought they were dead because I had the command last turn, but I don't have the command in hand now. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, I'm actually just dead. <laughs> Shit. Uh I sure do have a large a large individual. Alright. Uh I make infinite mana and then I can see the game. Okay. Well, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't even necessarily call it bricking. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. I mean I can't mole turn one bobble, turn two line breaker, right? They need to have specifically besage you for this. Ari, does your deck play any of the routes to uh, Vexing Bobble? Oh, they I guess they could just Veil of Summer, yeah. I didn't think about that. Maybe they don't know that. Bang. If you would have made Token Block to be win there instead of Command... No, because I command bottom drew, and then my turn, my draw for turn was Vista. So if I if I didn't scry to the bottom, I wouldn't have drawn the Vista. Okay, we have a drum gamer. Put it's a drummer over there. Would love to find a creature to play. Okay, that could find me a creature. Preferably line breaker. I mean, I'll take that. That's good enough, right? Surely that's good enough. Can I post this link in chat, please? No, I'm not doing that. I'm definitely not doing that. You can message them directly on Moto if you would like, but no, I'm not going to post the link in the chat against somebody I don't know. Who does that? Yeah, that's not Veil of Summer. Again, they also might not know that they can kill me with Veil of Summer. I mean, sure, I guess. I don't know. Equip it. Why not, right? Oh, right. It pumps. I forgot that it pumps. Okay, so trigger here. And then... I guess we should target... Does it matter? I don't know. This thing. Equip here, then pump the spawn token. And then if they kill the spawn, we can sack it. Which puts a counter on Flush Raker, and they still take six. I guess they would just kill the line breaker in that case. Or they just have nothing. Alright, cool. Would you consider a Rosie of South Cotton for the combo with Bird Scale? Not in this version. There could be like maybe a specifically green white version. But you can't really play a three color deck. It's the man is kind of sketchy as is with two colors. Looks like we're going to five here. Uh, okay. I mean, this is respectable, right? I think we do this, maybe? Does that make sense? I think that makes the most sense to me. Uh, yep. All right, we have a fellow Eldrazi enjoyer. They have two devourers. Jesus. Yeah, I bet they're not ready for the blade. 
All right, blade. Blade go. Magic is the same as a coin flip. You either win or you lose. I mean, when you put it like that, you know, you're not wrong. Every See, here's the thing you have to realize about Magic the Gathering is that regardless of format, regardless of matchup, whenever you sit down to play an opponent, you are always 50-50 to win because either you win or you don't win. There's no, you know, that's all it is. <laughs> that's funny, base man. What about draws? Uh, I don't know what a draw is, and I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. I'm not familiar with that term. All right, so we have a seven outer to kill them next turn. It's pretty good odds. I'll take those odds. Oh, we no longer have a seven outer to kill them next turn. It's unfortunate. You have lethal. Oh, right. I don't need the the yeah yeah. If they don't have a blocker, then I would just yeah do that. Right. I don't even need to draw the out at that point. I mean, I, you know, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to do it again, right? I'm going to present another infinite combo. Surely they don't have second dismember, right? And go. I hope their hand is all all as dusts. Just don't natty me, please. I also kind of hope they all as dust. What's funny about this combo, it doesn't technically kill through ring protection... But if I pass the turn with this and Flesh Raker and a, sp and a Spawn Token, I can just kill them on their upkeep, which is kind of cool. I hope their hand is like two Thought Not Seer, two All is Dust, and three Ursus Power Plants. Dude, seven Mana Karn? I would shit. I would, I would definitely shit if they played seven Mana Karn. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that works. Nice deck! All right, Caverns on the draw. Uh, do I want to brain them? Would I like to brain them? Probably, right? Everything else sucks. Stone Brian. Thank God the BNR is on August 26th. Now that we have more time to play with Brood Scale combo. I, you know, Bamzing, I, I completely agree. Good trim. Do like one, two, three... Four, something like that, maybe? We're going kind of low on sevens for Labyrinth. That was the issue. No, I'm trying I'm trying a version that doesn't have Rumble because I needed to, like... I don't think Rumble's a bad card, but I wanted to try and find room to make more... I wanted to find room for the more aggressive cards, like specifically Linebreaker, because I think the, uh, the concept of... This hand's close. It's not quite, though, right? What was I going to say? Uh, the concept, uh, the, like the idea behind this version is we're like, we have the ability to combo, but we're also, we also have the ability to be an aggressive deck when we need to be. And that was kind of the, uh, the, the goal of building it in this fashion. Now, again, I don't know if this is better or worse than the previous version, but at least, you know, that's, that's the idea. And that's what we're going for. This hand's very good. I think I put back Kozilek's command. And then go Caverns, Pitch, Saga. Or no, Caverns, Pitch, Forest, right? Because we have green mana here. Which are in Flesh Rakers over Commands. What does Command even do against them, though? It's not that good, is it? Okay, there we have an Emrakul Gamer. Brain me? It's not bad. Um... Well, so take Thought Knots here, right? Take Thought Knots here, play Temple. I think I like that. I'm not playing the Saga this turn, because I think there's a chance that I might I might make Construct Tokens. Although I guess that's maybe not that likely. What are my thoughts on them not doing any BNR until August 26th? So we've uh, we've discussed this a couple of times. I personally think it's really stupid. Like, part of what they were saying in their announcement was they want people, they want people's testing to not be invalidated. And I, I think that's really just kind of a cop-out, and also not even necessarily true with them waiting until the 26th anyways. So I don't, I just don't really understand it. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Why'd they keep this in? You know, it just, it doesn't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why they're waiting. The only thing I can think of is, like, tinfoil hat theory maybe they're waiting because they think that they're not going to do anything but i just i find that extremely hard to believe 
yeah, instead of invalidating your testing, we're just going to invalidate the games. Yeah, and I think that there's a lot of people on the Redditors are now going off about potentially them. This means that they're not going to ban anything. I, I just, I refuse to believe that's the case. Like, there's just no way, right? It just can't happen, can it? There's just no way. Hmm. So they're going to Tron me next turn. I kind of feel like I have to save the Myco spawn. Like, I need to start blowing up lands. I mean, I guess the other option is Myco spawn, leaving up Saga, go get Labyrinth, Labyrinth, Pitch Breaker, make a Saga token. But I think that's worse than just casting World Breaker next turn. Might go into World Breaker. Well, no, 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 no. Because if I cast the Myco spawn to get the Labyrinth, I have to pitch the Breaker. But I could go Myco spawn, don't get Labyrinth, don't pitch Breaker. See, my line is kind of nice against TKS because we have two land destruction spells. So. I actually kind of like my line against TKS. And they took the Myco spawn. Interesting. Okay. A little surprising. Oh, they probably well, no, they saw our deck. They know we have the uh the drum, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Which one did they get last power plant? So we'll get power plant. Unless no, okay. Yeah, we'll get the power plant. We know they have all dust in hand. They must have just not had enough cards to board out. It's like, why would they keep all his dust in, right? So I think we're kind of chilling as long as they don't find a, a ring. Ring would kind of be bad. But there's not much I can do about that. Ooh, I like that. So let's go... One, two, three. Go Myco Spawn... Or, sorry, Flesh Raker into... Line Breaker... And I guess we offered the trade for the line breaker, probably. They're at 14. They kind of have to trade, right? Actually, wait a minute. Number of Eldrazi. I'm going to do it this way. I don't want to trade for the line breaker. Because the line breaker is much better to keep in play, I think. I'd rather do it this way. Because now they kind of half the draw ring in order to stay alive. That, like, buys them a turn. All right, well. Unfortunate. Also pretty unfortunate they found a second tower, because now if we draw a, like, a way to blow up their land, we can't keep them off Tron. There's that. I get this. Uh... Hey, I guess we'll Saga again. And equip. Don't really think it matters. Equip here. Could have bumped the spawn also. No, because they only had three Eldrazi. The spawn doesn't have any base power. So we would have only been able to attack for three, right? All right, you can go. Hey, Stoken. It doesn't matter. They have protection. I can't attack that turn. It does not matter when I target that turn. All right. All right. All right. We take those. We do, in fact, take those. This is uh, going better than I expected. Being a deck that has the capability of having aggressive starts, but also having a combo finish, because, like... The powerful, like, the, the idea is that you force them to interact with your, like, not combo pieces, and then after they've gone through their interaction, then you present the combo. And I think that's the concept. And it seems like that's what's happening so far, which is nice. Sand looks pretty good. Get like this. Find a brood scale. Take that, which finds brood scale. And then we go... I think I'm on a Saga first. Guess we can just make a Saga token on turn two. Kind of unfortunate if they have Static Prison. Okay, that's fine. Waddle, waddle, waddle. 
Uh, let's go here. Pitch Devourer. Make a token so we can Stirring's main phase. Did not find the Bird Scale. But I think I will take Kozilek's command. One, two, three, four. Let's take Kozilek's command. I mean, if we draw the Bird Scale, they're still dead, right? Because we go green mana, Bird Scale, equip. Uh, no, because we can't activate two, right? We're probably just going to micro spawn next turn. Got any grapes? Okay, take one. <clears throat> Carplusion Forest. What am I doing this turn? It's a really good question. Float mana, get blade, and then we can go Myco spawn for temple, and then temple plus land lets us K command for one, kill the shaman token, and then the turn after we can all this dust. Yeah. I mean, I guess the other option is not casting the Myco spawn, right? We can just go float mana, land for turn, K command for three, and then leave the Myco spawn in hand. That might actually be a little bit better. No, because I kind of just want the mana in play. Let's do that. Let's go here. Great, my moto is lagging really badly here. Oh god. Moto, please. Is it time to restart already? Eh, it's been like three hours. I probably should restart. <laughs> this is bad. Uh... Okay, chat, why can't I click on my drum? Hello? What if I play my land? That was so weird. <laughs> like, what the hell, dude? That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I just, like, would not let me click on my drum. Anyways. So, spawn token. Did we kill the Fable, or did we kill the Guide of Souls? Probably the Fable, right? Or the Shaman Token. Problem is, we're very likely going to get... Um, you know, I, I don't have to do this yet. I can wait till their turn. My problem is, what happens if we just get fucking Blood Mooned? <laughs> Looks like we're all playing Nadu in the RCQs. I would love to. I don't know if I have... I don't know if I have any acquaintances that may have a spare Nadu deck for me. But if I do, I would love to play it. Okay. Well, now we're not going to get Blood Moon, which is nice. I appreciate that. Okay. Sure. Man, all this dust is really good against Boros. Spawn. Kill creature. Spawn. Kill creature. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I would I would love to play Nadu if I could, but I just don't know if I can acquire a Nadu deck before the first week of RCQs. But I certainly would. Wasn't drawing better? Uh, no, because I kind of want to keep a spawn token in play for if I eventually find the um, the bird scale. Because it just makes it easy for me to combo with a spawn in play. But maybe that doesn't matter. Maybe you're right. Five, six, seven. All right, I cast the card that beats you. Float a green. Well, I could just not sack the spawn token, right? Yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, I guess I'll just sack the spawn token then. Is this even worth it? If you're dusting Y kill? Because I don't want them to get a treasure token. Okay, well. <laughs> they're off it. I was going to take bird scale, but they're off it. Ah, oh, so more of those. I like that. I mean, we're on the draw every game because I can't lose, so I'll bring in the caverns. Uh, what's bad against Boros? We're bringing in all this dust so we can maybe trim on sevens. But, I mean, all my sevens are pretty good, right? Do we want... We don't want Dismember, do we? I feel like we don't need Dismember. Yeah, Myco Spawn's not super great against them. I mean, it's nice, though, right? Because if you fetch Basic Forest, then the Myco Spawn can just, like, let you hit your land drops to cast all this dust through a Blood Moon. I agree. Flesh Raker is maybe my weakest card. I want to keep one in for combo purposes, though. 
So then we can like, we can K command for our entire deck and find the one flesh raker. Thought Knot is kind of awkward against them because they do have a lot of blasts. Would you rather have Dismember? Do something like this maybe? Or is that crazy? We can also shave a land for the gemstone caverns. Like, I guess the question is, would you rather have Thought Knots here or Sewing Might Go Spawn? Chico Tech, thank you for the raid. Yeah, the only, realistically, the only problem is Blood Moon. That's the, the, the card that's hardest to beat, which, to be fair, Thought Knots here is good against Blood Moon. But if they have, like, or, like if they have a fast enough Blood Moon, maybe Thought Knots here is not good enough. If I trimmed a land, what would the land that I trim be a Saga? It's kind of awkward against Blood Moon. What if I did something like this? Let's try that. Let's do a little bit of each. Can we beat a Blood Moon? We can kill it. All is Dust and World Breaker both kill Blood Moon. I mean, this is probably as good as it gets, right? This hand's kind of the schnutz. Think of it like Prowess CBB. Whereas, you know, you wouldn't necessarily think of Dismember not being great against Prowess, but their creatures are so important that I think you need to be able to kill every single one of them. So I think it I think it is worth it in the long run. Um Does it really matter which land I take? I'm not sure that it does, right? I guess Temple, so we can keep this in hand. I'm not playing Ring, so it's not like I'm trying to cast Ring. Um I mean, running this out there kind of sucks if they have... Oh, no, you know what? I just realized. Lab was better because Lab lets us go turn to bird scale plus equip. Does that, does that matter? It kind of... It could matter, you know? Yeah, that's a good point. I might want to close Lex on two anyways. Because that would still set us up for a turn three kill. We can almost turn three kill through a Blood Moon. It's close. Did you know there's a popper deck that works kind of like this deck? Yeah, it's what, Brute Scale plus Sadistic Glee? I haven't played that deck yet. It looked interesting, though. Alright, so... Spawns kill. It's kind of hilarious that... Oh, we actually can kill through a Blood Moon, right? Because <laughs> we just go... <laughs> like a Brute Scale equip and then sack. Holy shit, if they tap out for Blood Moon, they're dead. That's wild. Do it, you won't. Rude. Boo. You're gonna make me play the game? I don't wanna play the game. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think we should lab the devourer here. Yeah, we should lab devourer just so I can get an extra card with Kozlex command. And then I'm just probably just going to go kill Guide of Souls, draw a bunch of cards. I mean, I guess labbing the Devourer is bad if they find Blood Moon. Well, no, if they find it, I could just go, I could just go make spawns draw, right? Yeah, I could just go make spawns draw, which is probably better. Get to draw one card. Well, I don't know if you know this, but scrying four is essentially the, the same, the same thing as drawing two. So it's kind of like you're drawing three. It's the exact same thing. I don't know if you know that. But now you have that information, so now you know. Rude. Response. Uh, spawns. Draw. Done. All right, dust me. Let's get a little dusty. Uh, that's five more looks at dust, right? There's no reason to keep both because I'm just gonna stirrings into stirrings. Dust me. I guess that was that. There was a reason, huh? Yeah, because, okay, there was a reason. Two, four, five, six, seven. I can't kill them this turn, so let's just do it like this. No, there definitely was a reason to keep both. Yeah, there definitely was a reason to keep both. Oh, they don't want to play anymore. All right, cool. <laughs> 
cool. Why why don't they want to play anymore? Man, we should just play for all stuff, right? Would you keep this chat? I mean, I know that I shouldn't, but what if we just draw it though? Yeah, I know it's broken if we draw it, but like, what are the odds? There's only seven in our deck. Mm, I think this is better. Back World Breaker. Although putting back Breaker is bad if we... Now, putting back Breaker is really bad if we find Labyrinth. I think I put back Drum. Although Drum with this gets me a third mana. It's kind of close. Good thing I kept the World Breaker, huh? I feel like we can definitely make this deck better. I like the shell that we have, but like, again, you see where you see where my vision is for this deck, though. It's the the like you're playing the the combo shell with with the aggressive nature of line breaker. Like that was the whole concept, and I think that's kind of how it's playing out. You know, I don't think this version needs the ring. The previous version did, but I don't know if this one does. The combo is basking bird scale plus blade of the blood chief. Yeah, it could be a good sideboard card. That's another good point, too. You don't have to play multiple Flesh Rakers, because you only need one in your deck to be able to Kozlex Command into on the turn that you go for the combo. So you could easily tr go less the you could go less on uh, Flesh Rakers. But I'm wondering if there's a version that's like no Sagas, more Blades, with the idea that you can just Stirrings for Blade, and you just don't, you even, like, are even less affected by Blood Moon without Saga, which I like. Yeah, we could also go back to Rumble. I don't hate that. Very interesting they left me with Labyrinth Plus thing. Very surprising. I thought they were going to take the World Breaker. Can you enable Shifting Woodland somewhat reliably? Um. Well, if you keep the Sagas, that is an interesting draw. I'm trying to think if there's a reason to pitch it here. Yeah, I mean, the reason to pitch it would be if they have another Grief, right? What was I going to say? Uh, you asked if I could enable Shifting Woodland. I think that the answer is potentially yes, but you would kind of need to keep the Sagas at that point. Where if you play, like, Woodland plus Rumble, that that could enable, or not Woodland plus, Saga plus Rumble could enable Woodland. But you wouldn't, you would have to keep the Sagas at that point. If you felt like you wanted any more ways to win once combo is assembled. I mean, right now there's four Kozlex Command and three Flesh Raker, which I think is enough. Uh, I don't quite have enough mana to do... Right, one, two, three, four, five. So we just... Are we blocking or are we attacking? I think pressuring their life is more important if they're a Necro gamer, right? Yeah. Also, like, double block is kind of sus against push. And we can... We can World Breaker next turn if we get the Springleaf Drum. Yeah. I mean, I can also make a Saga Token, too, while I'm doing that. But that was the plan. It was going to be make a Saga Token, pick up Breaker, untap, float, or untap, float, get Drum. It's pretty good, too. <laughs> I like that draw step. That draw step was nice. All right, so drum, three, four, five, six, seven, cast this, kill their swamp. I guess I should have went to combat first. No, because I had the mana floating, right? I couldn't go to combat first. To be a little bit careful about them pushing this. Like, my life total is getting a little low, so it's a little suspicious. All right, well. So we're going to 5 this turn. We can just K-Command this next turn, which is good. Blood Crypt. Are they playing red? Probably sideboard cards. Um, Do I have enough to do both? 5, 6, 7. I do, right? Nope. Well, <laughs> now I certainly don't. Uh, that was a misclick. Well, that's awkward. I hate that it's templated like this online, where 
for some reason, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's weird. Well, that's awkward. Uh, shit. Now what? This is not good. I have two cards in hand. Hear me out. What if I just did this? I'd add a soul spike if I attack. They don't have soul spike, right? No shot they have soul spike. <clears throat> we don't die to Bowmaster. No way they have soul spike. Yeah, I should have cast Breaker, but I misclicked. They attack, I'm scared. No attack, no attack. That's good. Okay, so one, two. I still only have five mana. Five mana. What can I do with five mana? Unfortunately, not kill grief. I think I'm just going to go to combat, right? It's extra damage. Yeah, true. Well, I can go to combat and respond to the line breaker trigger, right? So we go pump here and then response to the trigger. Spawns plus draw. Right? And then we tap the construct token. They could bowmaster in response, but it's only two damage, right? Let's go bottom, top. I don't think I need that. So this is going to be... I guess they go to one, right? They chump block the world breaker and go to one. Okay, well now that I'm at five, I can't even data soul spike, so we should be fine. Surely, right? Surely there's no way they can kill me now. They could, like, soul spike plus bowmaster, I guess. Yeah, we can trim on flesh rakers. Can also maybe go down a land. Yeah, can you imagine if Linebreaker gave Trample? Holy shit. <laughs> Miss Lethal, by the way. Streamer confirmed Miss Lethal. I think I'm just going to do this. I think people are used to Reckless Stormseeker. Stormseeker also does not give Trample, though, right? I don't think it does. Uh, I mean, I'm going to keep it. I guess I put back basic forest. Oh, sure. The flip side gives Stramble. Yeah, yeah. The front side does not, though. How do you ratio on Twitch? Uh, by gifting five subs. It's a lot of temples. Does this hand even want a temple? I actually know if it does. And it kind of does, right? My man is a little weird with this hand. I almost want Command more than I want Temple. Is that crazy? It's kind of crazy. I think I'm playing Sagan 1. With the intention of just going Lab Devour on 2. And just make Construct Tokens. I don't know if that's a great plan, though. Like, if they discard Spell my Devour, this is kind of sus. Yeah. This makes this plan a lot worse. You think maybe they'll learn their lesson from the previous game and take my fucking 7 drop, which they could have just done last game. Alright, did they learn their lesson? I don't know. I guess with this hand, maybe it's not that bad to take the Myco spawn, because I do already have the Temple too, so... Drawing the drum is kind of sus. I mean, I guess it like it's fine. I'm just gonna go get the uh, the blade. But I'm just gonna try and race them with uh, construct tokens. I really hope they don't have a bowmaster here. That would be very very bad. Also bad. I think the construct is more important, but I could be wrong. All right, as it turns out, the Construct was not more important. Uh, here, I guess. Bang. Race. Racing time. Yeah, this is not, not a great position to be in. Although, it could be getting a little bit better if we drop Bird Scale. We're talking about ball people in chat. Bald is... It's a lifestyle, you know? That's what I tell myself, at least. Mm. I don't really know if there's a way out at this point, but... 
I'm at 11. 4, 5, 6, 7. Well... If they have stone cold nothing, <laughs> if they have literally not a single relevant card, then we're okay. And we still have to draw a way to kill them. You know what I'm now thinking? Hear me out. I don't know if this is a, a weird idea. What if we played a Shadow Spear in the Saga package with the intention of uh, if you have Burn Scale in play, then like Burn Scale plus Blade already in play, the Shadow Spear theoretically kills them, regardless of whether they have blockers or not. I don't know if that's like a good idea, but it's something to consider at least. I should do this. Oh shit, Vexing Bobble, right? I forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cuts, cuts, cuts. Damn it. Although, I don't know. They haven't shown us a Soul Spike yet. I kind of forgot about Vexing Bobble. You're right. <laughs> yeah, when I shave, you will shit. How do I sequence this hand? They kept seven. Just kind of cringe. I mean, I could just go turn one Saga. It's risky if they have a discard spell for World Breaker, though. I think I'm just going to go Labyrinth Pass. This is the best line if they grief the shit out of me again. They've had double grief all three games, or at least the first two games. Yeah. Yeah, I think playing Labyrinth on one is the best if they have grief. Because then, like, they double grief me. I'm at least getting to keep one spell. Oh, okay. Wow. They could also just not have the Malakir Rebirth, which is good. I like that. Yeah, sure. Break the ice would be bad. They took Bird Scale. Okay, well. Your turn. You may proceed. Break the ice would be pretty bad here, though. Been to Soul Spike. You would have guessed Stirrings. What are you looking for off Stirrings there? Also, getting this into play is potentially a little bit better now, anyways, because then I can just get the um I can get the blade a lot faster. Not really though. If they like if they sinkhole me, I can just play the stirrings next turn, right? It's the same thing. We get the stir we get the stirrings and make a saga token. Um, interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can World Breaker next turn. But I guess the thing is, we already have a seven drop in hand. Presumably, the Devourers may be good enough anyways. So, we should probably take Command here. Although, I guess it can't hurt to have a second seven drop, right? It's probably okay. Well, the Devourer kills the Necro too, right? So, regardless of whether they Necro this turn, I, I already have an answer to Necro in hand is what I meant to say. But, like, the issue with taking World Breaker is what happens if they drop, uh, break the ice. Because then the second seven drop is really bad. You have six mana, not seven. Uh, there is a Springleaf Drum that I can search for off Saga. My brother in Christ. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That is what I was afraid of. I mean, I don't really need the third 7-drop, right? So I guess I'll just make a token. Well, that's bad. Uh, That's bad. It's an easy block, I think. Was that an easy block? Maybe it wasn't. Oh. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, I will make a mana. Blade me. I mean, we kind of just have to run it out there, right? Sure, they could have a Fatal Bush or a removal spell, but we have to run it out there. We also notably do not currently have a payoff in hand, so even if they can't kill it, we can't kill them next turn. We can make infinite colorless mana. Oh no, we can, right? Devour or kill their blocker. Yeah, so. Depending on what they have. Well, not when they draw 17 cards. Mm -hmm. All right, no soul spike, please. 
Please don't find... If they don't find Soul Spike, we win. Hold. Let's go! Because they would have done it by now, right? Really greedy to not trust 17. Yeah, I mean, given the fact that they... Did they know about the Devourer? I mean, they can probably assume they're dead if they don't find the Spike, right? They probably had the draw 17 there. Because they have already gone through two Soul Spikes. All right, well, I will uh, <laughs> I will do the thing, the thing that my deck does. I know. You would think they would have drawn a couple more. Crazy game. Am I winning, son? I'm about to be winning. We're going to be 4-0 after this match. I devour your army token. I attack you with a 10-10 creature. Yeah, buy your Blade of the Blood Chiefs now. Although there's only one copy, so... I don't really know how much it's going to spike, but, you know. It is what it is. You just did? Technically, yes, I did. I did just acknowledge it. Uh, I mean... I'm already on six. I think I have to keep a hand like this. Thank you very much for the five gifted voice and five gifted from Mike. Thank you guys for the gifted subs. I very much appreciate that. How hard will I slime? Oh, I'll, I'm going to slime really hard. Killer switch. Thank you for the three months. This hand's like not that bad against Thoughtseize. All right, what are we, two away now? Chat, you can make it happen. Two away. Oh, look at that. Enlightened Master with the two gifted subs. Thank you very, very much for the two gifted. Grokus, thank you for the four. Rix, thank you for the two. Thank you guys so much for the subs. I very, very much appreciate that. It's slime time now, folks. It is now officially slime time. Just for the sub, the sub train, I'm going to turn this song up because it's kind of a banger. All right, they have selected my Thought Not Seer. Uh, lead on temple in case we draw a second temple or big thing to pitch to lab and then I can command for two. <laughs> you were 6 one you got baited. Uh, the slime list is from the challenge. It was from the challenge on Saturday, I think. It, I think it top 16 and it looked interesting, so I wanted to try it. So here's the plan for the rest of today. We'll do one more league with this with updates and then after the second league with this deck, we'll play slime. Does that sound like a plan? Because I want to try some updates to this deck before we slime. But we'll slime later. So the sliming will happen today. I want to keep working on this deck because it's just... I think there's a lot of potential here. Some things that I want to try. I want to try a version that has no sagas and just plays more blades. I kind of like that approach. <laughs> you have to wait another league. It, it won't be that long. Come on. When is the new set available? Uh, is it next week? I think it might be next week. All right, so Myco spawn. Myco spawn for another temple. Do we temple or do we saga here? I think it's got to be temple because if we saga, we don't have enough mana to cast all his dust. If you play zero sagas, you won't have to wait long because you'll you'll be going Owen. Why do you say that? The sagas are good. Well, I mean they're good, but they make you weak to blood moon. Is the problem? Yeah, agreed. We really just want to get to enough mana to cast all his dust. Bigger scries. Well, the sagas don't really help that, right? They don't really help the they don't really help the generate mana. They just help find the combo more reliably. Which I mean there's definitely something to that, you know. A jade. They have a way to sack the token. This could get kind of dicey. Although all his dust still would clear. Interesting. Okay, so lab, no pitch. I think I'm just going to hold up the command this turn. We could, like, kill a Johnny plus Scry. Or we could just go tokens plus Scry, right? Could kill the Raptor to not take four damage. This thing doesn't have reach, does it? <laughs> I have to do the check just to make sure, but... Oh, you're talking about grabbing Temple, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. I think this deck should play Writhing Chrysalis. Helps with lethal post-combo. How does it help post-combo? What, what exactly does Chrysalis accomplish? 
Like, I, I know what the card does, but how does it help out the combo? Flage. Kind of gross. Okay. Oh, I guess it gives you a second lethal threat. It's interesting. It's definitely an idea. I like that it, it kind of ramps you. Like, it makes two spawns, which ramps you to all's dust faster, potentially. <laughs> yeah, you did. You gifted two, I think. I thought you did. Or no, it just showed up twice in my chat. Why did it show up twice? Yeah, you did. You gifted one. For some reason, when I was looking in my chat arena, it showed up as, like, two different messages, which is weird. No, 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 yeah, it was it was one. I just misspoke. Stop by to ask chat in Doom how do we feel about Naya Energy. I tried it, and, like, it's cool, but I don't really think the green splash accomplishes a ton. Okay, so, wonder how are we doing this? If one card nands... I think I'm just going to go Exile, Raptor, Draw. Yeah, I don't know if I want Exile Flage, though. Although, maybe I had to. Oh, shit. Now we're just going to lose to Arena. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Man, we could Exile from the Graveyard. Okay, I kind of screwed up. Although, I don't know. If I killed the Flage, I'm taking a lot more damage. We definitely have to draw. That's 100% for a fact. So, what is the second mode? I mean, the second mode is probably just prevent the most amount of damage, right? Which is kill this. It's like, either kill this or make spawns, block, block, but I'm preventing three damage that way. Well, don't actually, we can kind of have to, we kind of have to make spawns, right? Sowing Exile Arena. Yeah, but we have to find all his dust, and I can't all his dust and sowing next turn is the problem. I think I'm going to go draw spawns. I think this is my plan. Because then this way we'll have spawns left over if we find the dust. And then the leftover spawns can cast the command to kill the flage from the graveyard. And then I'm probably just going to block with two of them. <laughs> well, none of those are all as dust. I mean, we can hope their last card is not a removal spell. How likely is that? I'm doing it, right? I think I'm just going to go for it. So bottom. Uh, we don't need any of this. We, just, we have the Coastlex command, so we just need these two. Nothing else matters. All right, they will simply not have a removal spell. I believe. Sturdy doesn't get all his dust. It does, but like, if they don't have a removal spell, I'm just going to kill them. I found the combo, you know. I mean, not block and sink all their land first. What do you mean? Oh, well, they didn't have it, so <laughs> you'll love to see it. See, it's just that easy, you know? What if I told you they just didn't have it? We have a creature that sinkholes their land. Well, we also just have them dead, right? We can scry our deck. Yeah, that's the idea. So the kill condition is you eventually, <laughs> once you get enough mana, because this, this combo is infinite mana, you eventually get enough mana to scry your entire deck with Ghostlex Command. Now, it, that's going to take a while, but, you know, we're here, you know. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Or, other way around. Long time, not a good time. Something like that. It's okay. I got I got my popcorn next to me. We got time. Do you have Fling in the deck? No. The kill condition is Glaring Flesh Raker, which is funny because we're going to have to do this 40 times. Scry our whole deck, find the Flesh Raker, and then do it another 40 times. Well, 20 times. It's really not that hard, Mikir. It's really not that hard. Does the deck play Ballista? No, I mean, you could, but you don't really need it. It's not an Eldrazi. You know what would be kind of interesting to see? If, and I don't know if anybody has, like, a way to, to find this, if you could, if you want to Scryfall this for me. Is there a win condition that kills through with, like, would kill in this spot with Infinite Colorless that can be pitched to Ugin's Labyrinth? I highly doubt there is, but... If only, right? Triskelevis. One mana. Oh, God. Seven mana, one, one flyer. ETB of a counter. Remove a counter. Make a one, one. Sack a one, one. Deal one damage. Uh, Well, how do you put counters on that? Oh, I guess you could add counters with the uh, with Blade of the Blood Sheave, right? I guess that would work, technically. Yeah, it would work with Blade. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, shit. Moto, let, just let me click on my mana, please. Oh, God. Now we have to scry the whole deck. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what the worst part about scrying your deck is? You have to do it one at a time. Oh, no. All right. Flesh Raker on top. Everything else in the bottom. Yeah, one by one by one by one by one. I know, I know. You know what? I'll put I'll put the line breaker on top, okay? But here's the thing. If they have something that I like that beats the line breaker, I'm I'm gonna ban the person who suggested putting line breaker on top. Hope you die doing that. Now that you said it, I'm not gonna do it. I changed my mind. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that changed my mind. All right, I'll do this. I cast Glaring Flesh Raker. Yeah, that is true. They would have just killed the Bird Scale by now. So they very likely don't have removable spells. All right, I'm going to demonstrate how I'm killing you. <laughs> you may now concede the game. Unequip the blade to go faster. No, you can't unequip. Because if I re-equip, it's, it's the same thing. Hold priority. Yeah... No, I can't do that, because then I have to turn off auto yields. So, like, you can't actually kill them unless the blade is on the bird scale, because you need to keep making tokens. How am I getting tokens into play if the blade is not on the bird scale? That's the thing that you're missing. I guess Myco Spawn, yeah. Yeah, but also, how else would I have a 72-72 basking bird scale? All right, you're dead. <laughs> you are dead. Cool. Okay, what are they playing? Mardudu, huh? All right, Caverns me. And Dust me. What do you not want against Mardu? Did we say that Thought Knots here was bad the last time? Yeah, we just don't need Thought Knots here against them. I'm going to play one Dismember, I think. Try this. Is there something that you would rather cut than Thought Knots here? I guess we could trim on Flesh Rakers, maybe? Could go like this. Because we don't need all four flush rakers, right? Keeping two thought nuts here. I like that Myco Spawn ramps to all his dust, because I think the most important thing in this matchup is getting to this as quick as possible. Like the basically the Boros and Mardu matchup is if you cast this card, they lose the game. If you don't cast it, most of the time you lose the game. It was uh kind of weird. Anyways, uh is this hand good? Seems fine, right? Alright, Guide of Souls. You want to cut Stirrings from this deck? It would make the mana better, yeah. Alright, all is dust me, I think. I mean, I guess I could take Saga. Let's take dust. I think I'm intending on probably killing something on turn two. Like, turn two, we'll go fetch for basic forest, K command, kill something, make a spawn. And then if we draw another soul land the turn after, we can kick Myco spawn. Arena. I would like to Myco spawn that. Yeah. It's kind of annoying. It's really annoying, actually. Because now I'm just getting time walked. Shit. At least if they have Blood Moon, we can Vista. Although, if they're playing Mardu, they probably don't have Blood Moon, right? As long as their draw is not that fast, like, Dampic Sphere is good, but if they're not putting enough pressure on you, you have plenty of time to draw out of it. Like, you can still just cast your spells. I hope they cast a second Dampic Sphere. That's fine. Okay, I'm just going to get a forest. Forest. That is interesting. It's not quite good enough here, but it's definitely interesting. I'm going to wait for them to fetch, and then I'm going to kill the cat token, I think. Uh, yeah. So let's go... What do we want to do? Kill the cat token and make a scion, probably? Want to kill Guide? Are you not worried about them flipping the Ajani? 
Maybe you're not, because I'm eventually going to cast this dust, right? Let's just kill a guy to make a scion. Yeah, let's go kill this. I like that. I don't. I really don't care if they flip the the Ajani, because they don't have a red permanent yet, right? If you kill the token, it flips. No, command exiles. That was the point. Uh, we have world breaker that kills the sphere, but like, we can also just kill them through it. We don't need to. We, we don't need to care about this card. Like, it's gonna slow us down for sure, but we can still easily win through it. Like, this, basically, this just is, like, think of it as a double-time walk, you know? Like, we're eventually going to cast our spells, but it does buy them a lot of time. So, interesting. Let's go here, no pitch. Now I guess we could just command for three, right? We can go block Ocelot Pride, command for three, the next turn dust. I think I like that. The other option was Myco spawned for a land, but then we have to draw a land in order to dust next turn, so I think that's worse. Well, now what? Weirdly enough, I think we're supposed to Scion draw. Because then if we find second dust, we don't care about the Thoughtseize. Yeah. And we can still cast an hour or two. Uh, well... Oh, you know what's perfect about this? I can protect the dust against Thoughtseize. <laughs> That's gross. Okay, well... Oh, man, you took my all-is-dust. No, not my all-is-dust. No! If only there was a way that I could prevent or perhaps cast another all-is-dust next turn. You ever gain two life here? No, I'll just go to ten. It's not a big deal. They're gonna be like, damn, Thoughtseize Bug, you hate to see it. I hope they play more stuff. I, I kinda didn't think they were going to, but whatever, this is fine. Alright, dust you. And they have five cards in the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, in before they type in chat. Wow, what a lucky top deck. I really hope they type something like that. Come on. You know you want to. Unreal. I cannot believe. I can't believe you drew another copy of All is Dust. Un unbelievable. You know what I'm thinking about this now? I feel like I maybe should have kept that Saga. Because I kind of want another land. And Saga's a pretty good land, right? Yeah, I think keeping the Saga could have been good. Oh, I don't care about that. You can get a Saga with Myco Spawn. Yeah, I guess that's true. I'm just going to start Myco Spawning them, right? Into Oblivion. Kill this. I'm just going to Myco spawn them every turn from now on. And get a Saga. I think it's... I'm not going to say it's impossible, but I think it's extremely unlikely that we could lose the game from this point. Like, there's probably a way, but it's going to be pretty tough. I guess if there's a way, I probably will find it. So, you know. Legion of Bolt, Bolt, Bolt. Shut up. Did they keep a card on top? Uh, Monka? Hello? Monka? Combo deck. <coughs> Ocelot Pride. I'm okay with that. I can live with that. I'll take another Dust. I mean, I don't really need another Dust. Probably just gonna devour their Pride. Although, I don't know. If they're missing a bunch of land drops, I'm kinda into just doing this. Four, five, six. Because we can even um, we can even get an untap lane and then make a saga token with do with this line. Uh, sure. I'll just get more sagas, I guess. Uh, I don't really have to attack here. I know I probably. Oh no, they have two first strike creatures. Never mind. Attacking was bad. Do I not have infinite mana? 
Uh, that is true. I do have infinite mana next turn. Guide of Souls. I do have three energy. Okay, that could be a bit of a monka. We go to six here. Hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This may be getting a little scary. Go to seven. No need to be in danger yet, though. No need to be in danger quite yet. Not quite. Maybe. Can't take Sagas out. Yeah, the Sagas have been pretty good, so maybe we shouldn't take them out. They're dead to another Kozlex command. Definitely not dead to that. Okay, so... If one energy remaining... Do I have enough mana to... So the answer is yes. The answer is always yes. Like, I could make infinite mana, but there's not really a lot of reason to, is there? Because, like, what am I doing with infinite mana? I think I have to devour the Ocelot Pride. So, let's do that. Three. Well, I mean, I can't cast the Dismember at, you know, this low of a life total, right? So let's do this. Kill the Ocelot Pride. They do still have one energy left over, though. Like, if they have a Johnny, we could be in trouble. Uh, should we attack? When I cast Bird Scale? Well, what happens if I cast Bird Scale and they have a removal spell? It's kind of dicey, right? Yeah, but not if they have a not if they have a uh, Galvanic Discharge. Which I think that is not... It's not that unreasonable for them to have a removal spell in hand. I think I'm going to play it safe and only attack for six. Yeah, that's a good point, too. If we go for the combo and lose, it's kind of sketchy. I need to dodge them having a Johnny or Black Source Bowmaster. Because I, I need them to not trigger the Guide of Souls this turn. Well, good thing I didn't go for Bird Scale. Oh, right. They're just not going to use the energy. Oh, shit. So now they can pump the Raptor and have me on a two-turn clock. Uh-oh. Or we just died a Bolt or Flage. I think I'm going to lose this game. Guessing Wolf Run could be kind of nice. You know, I know we don't have it in this version, but it could be good. Okay, that helps. That helps, right? It's a creature that has reach. A creature that has reach. Yeah, Shadow Spear would be really sick right now. Um, hmm. Let's think about this. We can go Bird Scale, Equip, then play Breaker. Although, doesn't this line just lose if they have another removal spell? Like, if they have another Discharge? I could have just cast the World Breaker instead of not doing this. What's this? Is this Wear Tear on Blade? Oh. Uh, that also does it, right? We lose now? Because we only have seven mana in this stupid damping sphere. <sighs> Good dismember. Yeah, I guess we... Oh, we can dismember the, the Ant Raptor. Sure, 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 sure. So they have one blocker. We can only deal them 12 damage. Dismember Guide. If I dismember Guide, they're, they just chump block here and take 12. <laughs> How do I have lethal? They just take 12. They're at 15. So I think my only out is... Attack with three, maybe? Could also World Breaker. We cannot World Breaker. They have a Dampy Spirit in play. I think Attack with three is good. Do you like this, maybe? Yeah, let's do this. And then I'll just hold up the Dismember. Should just cast the Breaker. I mean, yeah, we didn't know. Like, obviously, my line was not great against Wear Terror, but. Like, if they don't have anything, it's free to cast the Brood Skills, what the, is the point that we're making. But I'm still casting with drum. Chat, stop! <laughs> There's literally a damping sphere in play! Jesus. Ah, uh, that kills me. 
<sighs> so close. All right, game three. Uh, I'm just going to stop reading chat. How about that? How about I don't read chat? I did find a way to lose that game, to be fair. Could have sent the construct since she could make a token off brood scale. Yeah, I could have sent one more creature because I could have made an extra blocker, but I think the outcome would have been the same. They would have made the same block. I would. They still would have had the Bowmaster, so I don't think it would have changed anything. Yeah. Casting the Worldbreaker would have worked at F&M. Nope. I got to try and play fast. I'm a little low on time. Okay, this hand is very, very good. Man, I think I have to bottom this saga. I know it feels like it feels kind of bad, but I think I just kind of have to. I know that the saga combos with the brood scale, but I just don't think I can afford to keep it with this hand. It's like, how can I afford to bottom a temple, a temple when I have dust? Why you can't make black with drum and sphere? You can. I could have made a single black mana, but I was at three life. If I cast the dismember paying two life, I'm at one and they have a bowmaster. I still die. Like there was, there was no way out at that point once they had the bowmaster. I could have at least like maybe wait for them to target. Maybe they don't target me for some reason, but yeah, <laughs> this is, this is, this has been a crazy game for Chad, huh? Every single person in chat would have won the game to be fair. If we're being honest with each other. Yeah, they also get three more energy. There's there's plenty of reasons why that doesn't work. That's nice because now even if they kill the first bird scale wave back up. Would we have lost the game if we cast the Worldbreaker? I guess we still would have, right? Because they would just go Bowmaster, two more energy, send two lethal two lethal flyers. So we, even if we made the correct play, or the correct play, we still would have lost the game. So. Worth noting, they're kind of catching up on time, so. <laughs> I, that, I, I, I wouldn't say it's likely, but it is a possibility, you know. Uh, two, four, five, six. I think it's more important to guarantee the token rather than play the stirrings. Because then if I just draw any land next turn, it's kind of gas, right? And I'm going to hold back the Brood Scale to force them to have a removal spell. Although I guess that's bad because they have energy. They can just go, like, play creature, jump the pride. So maybe attacking was good. Okay, Brood Scale down. Again, kind of okay because we have second one. And... I guess we don't have the dust, but even Breaker's probably good enough here. <coughs> we dismember, then attack all. They would have blocked the Devourer with the remaining blocker and taken 12, then crack back lethal. Yeah, there was no way out. There was just simply no way out. All right, give me a land, please. Mm, this is looking a little sus. Please give me a land. Please give me a land. Land might not even be good enough at this point. Yeah. Land land that I still might be dead. Okay, well. <laughs> that could certainly do it. <laughs> really needed to find a soul land there. Uh well, I guess. Um at fifteen. One, two, three, four. They can jump two things, which means jump, jump. That's nine. Uh, block here. I think I can't afford to cast the bird scale, right? Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, they only have one guide of souls. True. Maybe I should play the bird scale then. Pays for itself. No, because I can't I can't activate it. I don't have another green source. Sure, it blocks a 1-1, one, one, but it's worse if they have a removal spell, right? Because now by doing it this way, if they kill the bird scale, I have to block with the spawn token. That's the issue. Which maybe I should block with the spawn token anyways. I don't know. I put a card on top. That can't be good. Old hit just like a random creature. Yeah, a Johnny Spine. 
Ajani is... F well, <laughs> funny enough, Ajani's actually not fine. Because now if I block with the bird scale, they get to flip Ajani. God damn it. That's so bad for me. I'm getting extremely punished for playing the bird scale. I guess I can just take it all, right? I can just take all the damage. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, go to, two, go to 3. I mean, I have to not block, right? <laughs> I could block with the spawn token and hope to draw land, but I'll just go to 3. It's fine. <sighs> They're going to be at 400 million life. Oh, do they just have both anyways? Uh, that doesn't matter, because Sacking Spawn is a mana ability. I mean, they have no cards in hand. Again, they're a million life, so it's going to be hard to kill them, but they have no cards in hand. <coughs> Surely they won't draw Flage the whole game, right? That would never happen. <laughs> More energy. More energy. Uh, is the... I guess the drum is free, right? Two, four, five... Yeah, the drum is free. Might as well. Alright, well... I cast my card. Hope it's good enough. <laughs> we only have to deal them 43 damage. Surely we can deal them 43 damage before they find a flage, right? Yeah, the clock is kind of a little sketchy, too. Yeah, that's true. All we need is the blade. Oh, well, that's lethal. I guess not, because we have the World Breaker. I have to piss so bad. <clears throat> uh, can't cast that, because we need to present a... We need to present a Reach Blocker. So now we also die... We also die to... What you call it? Uh, Galvanic Discharge on this. You want to go after their white mana? I want to go after their red because of discharge. I don't know if that's better or worse. This is this is going to be a hell of a sweat. Oh my god, we have to fade so many draw steps. Look, I don't think it's very likely, but... Alright, look, you know, you're at 39. Have one more life, I don't care. I am going to go after their red source. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to cut them off of uh, discharge. And we get to get a Saga here. Oh, I misclicked. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, I'm trying to go too fast. Damn it. I misclicked. That's really bad. <laughs> that is exceptionally bad. Yeah, that's bad. We can attack with both, though. I guess this... No, it doesn't put us dead to Bowmasters, right? Oh, no, it does, because they just ping the token. Well, no, I could sack the token, right, for mana. Oh, okay. What does that do? What are they naming? I guess they're naming Blade? I don't even know. They named Basking Bird Scale. Okay, noted. Man, I'm going to lose the game because I misclick on that Saga, aren't I? I think I am. Yeah, that for Saga. I guess that's a good point. Yeah, true, true, true. If I Even if I had gotten the Saga, they would have just flew to the Saga, so... It wouldn't have been. It, nothing would have changed, probably. Okay, hold. Hold. I don't know what I'm looking for. Interesting. Do we take Line Breaker or Command to Kill Guide? Honestly, probably Command to Kill Guide, right? Because that lets us attack. Yeah. We know their last card is currently Giganta, so let's go draw, then exile. Yeah, Command can also find more stuff. I'm just trying to play fast. Um, I'll keep the stirrings because the stirrings gives me five looks at trying to find line breaker, which I think I want to try and find next turn. Was there a command that I bottomed? All right, there are 22. We still have to dodge flage. Oh my god! <laughs> Hold, please! Hold! They put a card on top. Oh sevens, chat. Oh sevens. They put a card on top. No, oh, we're so close. 
Okay, that's fine. I'm kind of surprised they topped that. That's fine. We can beat that. That is a card I can beat. Hold. Hold. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, hold. <laughs> I'm just gonna have six. I need to play fast. Well, I guess we can also Ancient Stirrings, right? Get Stirrings. And we still know their last card's Gigantha, right? Uh, I'll take Devour. All right, well, attack. How much is this? 5, 8, 11, 13. Please don't draw Flage. <laughs> Please don't draw Flage. One time, dodge Flage. Hold. Hold. Don't you dare draw Flage. Hold. I need this. I need it. Hold. Chat, still hold. I need you to hold. Hold. You wouldn't slow roll the flage, would you? Hold. If you're watching this on YouTube, hold. Make sure you're in Mesa. What, what a hell of a match, dude. God damn. Oh, boy. Well, that was pretty easy. I mean, yeah, that was a very, very impressive first take on the deck list, and I don't really think it could have gone any better. Well, I mean, maybe if we had played more matches. So as far as what I liked and didn't like, I may have mentioned it a couple of times in the video. I kind of want to try a version that has just more copies of Blade, similar to the Nadu approach where they play four copies of Shuko because just drawing the combo naturally and not having to wait an additional two turns to fetch the Blade of Saga is pretty good. So I want to try something like that. I also want to consider trying a version that has less copies of Saga to make you a little less weak to Blood Moon. And then the other card that I kind of want to try is Malevolent Rumble. Basically, it gives you some additional redundancy like Ancient Stirrings to help find the combo pieces. And also what's nice about this is it curves very, very nicely with Myco Spawn, where if you go Soul Land into Forest plus Rumble, and then you have a second Soul Land, that's turn three kicked Myco Spawn. So it really does kind of accelerate your draws a little bit. As far as the cards that I would consider cutting, I mean, this might sound... It's like sacrilege to a lot of people, but I really just don't think Thought Not Seer is that great in a lot of these decks. It might be a little bit better in the more aggressive Tron versions, or excuse me, aggressive Eldrazi versions that are playing stuff like Eldrazi Mimic and more two drops, It That Heralds the End, Wayscape Battle Mage, you know, Smashers. They're they're a lot more aggressive. But in this in this kind of version, I mean, I guess in theory it, it protects your combo because you can take their removal spell. But the way that this deck is, because you have that plan B of Line Breaker, Myco Spawn, World Breaker, you don't really care if they break up your combo. That's more of just a distraction, or you can utilize the aggressive plant as the distraction, make them kill the Line Breaker, then here's my Brood Scale. So I don't think Thought Nuts here is necessary. You can also probably trim on the Flesh Rakers because you only really need one copy if you're going to be searching for it with Kozlex Command on the combo turn. So yeah, I would consider trimming some of those. And then again, more Blades, Rumbles, some less Sagas, maybe an additional copy of All Dust, or maybe another World Breaker. But yeah, very, very good showing. I'm sure I'll be playing this deck again very soon. And uh, I hope you guys are here for the ride. So with all that said, thank you very, very much for tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe comment down below and i will see you all in the next one